Hmm. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Let's do some tarot for Taurus as a collective. Are you ready? I am. And as with any tarot, please remember to take what resonates. Don't force it to fit. But I certainly hope something does. Because we're going to get an all over tone. Take a look at you. Take a look at them. Take a look at this and that. And I'll pull it all together. What does Taurus need to know right now? Give me an all over vibe. Mm. Four of swords in reverse. Mm. I saw it. I peeked. Not everybody knows what you think. Not everybody's thinking the same in the situations. And very possibly, not everybody knows what's going on. So, for your current vibe, I just went like blank instantly. Yeah, page of wands. Justice. Page of wands and justice. Uh, okay, so. Very childlike and ready. Currently, true love abounds. Oh, I hadn't even looked and I just looked down and picked it up. I was like, oh, true love abounds. Hmm. But what about that four of swords that I saw in the deck? Okay, that, you know, if anything's going to get in the way. If that resonates, something like, not everybody thinks this is love. Not everybody in your love connections is thinking the same. Okay? So, having a very real, open conversation about someone's love life because of the page in communications and love together with justice. So, that's for sure, right? So, if you're not openly talking to someone about a love and this and that, uh, there is someone around you in your energy field, in your life, that is out there talking about it. And it involves you. Give me Taurus first. Please. I see that. And feel free to flip it to energy, whichever side it goes. Taurus first, please. I see a party, get together, friends, food, uh, dining, shopping, hanging out, whatever it is. I got two more cards. An unexpected event. And something to do with insanity. It's crazy how shaken up somebody's friend is getting about it all, I suppose. Um, I see unexpected event. Whatever so many different unexpected events could be going on for you. Let's take a look at them. We'll come around your barn and clarify. Show me this other significant person that's near you. No Taurus. Don't forget to tap like if you want your energy to be felt. Show me this other Ooh, they've got a lot going on. Six of Wands, the Fool, Death. They're embracing. Okay, so somebody, they're embracing 
their their new a new life a new beginning um, they care very much but I've got two queens side by side and the queen of wands is in reverse so I think if they're if y'all are talking about uh, reinventing their self and having the power to, uh, you know, like reinvent themselves. So I think this is somebody over there, you know, it's almost like a warning to you because it's always a warning in a tarot reading when two queens or whatever comes as close to each other, you know, that is. And so I'm going to take that as a warning to you because we do see the beginning of the communications with page of, yeah, and, then, and all of that. And then because I see the five of swords, oh, it's tough, there's a conflict, and this other person, you know, they want to win at any cost, the fool and death, naturally, and they, they, they want the best for them for that as well. And so you have, you know, a very, it's either you're happy or, you know, they're like, either you're happy with Taurus or you're not, you know, like, and so like, let's get this, you know, what about, you know, what are their intentions here and what are your intentions for yourself, my friend, you know, and it's trust in uh, your friend, their friend to say it's okay for them to move on. Give me a little history, past present and future. As soon as I said that, I felt that, so I'll go with it. The star, this, yes, yeah, so the recent past, it's been a trust issue. And trust in that this would be there, that they would be there, or that you would be there for each other. Give me current, please. Don't forget to tap like if any of this has resonated. Give me a current and a potential near future. Take that, thank you. Okay, so the Four of Swords, this will, okay, so this, it would, okay, so currently it is exhausting. And so we get somebody who has exhausted all of their attempts or were, they're exhausted and ready to go alone. And again, you know, that's you or them and everybody's like single, um, tired, you know, a lot, you got a lot going on, you're working a lot and everything, but, um, so we've had trust issues. If we've had trust issues, you know, and it is somebody who we can trust and who we have trusted and do trust because they, this is obviously, there is this connection, right? But currently we've, it's exhausted. Like, and, and there's this energy around of somebody saying, you know, I am tired of this this young, very enthusiastic energy around your other person, your person, you know, choose to love. Yes, it's very loving. The, given this message, it's about, about what someone should think maybe of you. Um, You know, just whispering sweet nothings in their ear about things. And basically with the five of swords, I mean, it's, it's, you're, over, they're over here. They got to win. And then it's like, honestly, it's Jiminy Cricket. See the bird on the top of the chair? Okay, so there's this person, and then there's Jiminy Cricket. We're talking about matters of the heart, and I'm tired of it. We've had trust issues in the past. 
Taurus, I don't need to tell you where you're at. You know where you're at. So I'll just continue to flow with where they're at and give me a little potential near future how this could possibly go. Thank you. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I don't know how to take this, really. It's, there's a bad thing in the mix. There's a bad apple in the mix. And, but we're doing it anyways. So, Seven of Wands. Could be that this is something that you should protect yourself from and then or their friend is over there trying to protect them from you. You're, I don't know what you're doing, protecting yourself from heartbreak, Taurus. So nice. It's a 50-50. They've got a pact. And, I mean, it's like, it's tough, but I think they'll be like, but it's okay for you to walk away from this person from the past, from this third party over, telling them that. So, let me see Taurus again, please. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to become a sub. Thank you. I would love to have you as a sub. I will eat you. Give me a six inch. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. My teeth look horrible in this, you guys. I know. I'll be having, my, I'll probably be getting dentures in the next year or two, probably, but still got my own real choppers. All right, so taking a look at you guys, you do have a lot going on, kind of behind the scenes, if you will. I think um, setting things into motion, it is time, and I think you know that in your physical world, Two of Pentacles, it's time to set things into motion. You're just really overwhelmed, you know, and the number nines here at 6, 8, 8, 9 tarot time are always fight or flight. This is a big fat, I don't know. Uh, I mean, okay, so set into motion this dream come true. This is what I'm hearing, <laughs> even though you don't know. The page of coin. It's communication should be A surprise there will be a surprise with the ten of swords <sighs> with the ten of swords here here it is it's what you think okay so this is what you be thinking okay now hold on this is what you be thinking Cause I was like, this ain't, mm -mm, this is, uh huh. So you know that you are afraid of being stabbed in the back, betrayed, and hurt, and all of that. And it's saying that they are, you know, and that's what you think they're talking about. To stay within context of this particular situation. Let me see the other person one more time, please. The other person one more time, please. Thank you. That'll do. And it is the nine. Oh, well, if you think you feel like <clears throat> you're at fight or flight, so are they. Because of the Nine of Pentacles. And with the Nine of Pentacles, 
This is where they stand because they are a self-made man or woman or person. Human being, to say the least. Okay? But uh, they actually feel like they've been used by you. So that could be third party over them together. The warning of the two queens and feeling used by you. Give me one more card, pretty please. And how this could possibly turn out in the near future. Besides little Jiminy Cricket. Thank you. The Knight of Wands with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Somebody could really think that someone new is better. You know, reinventing themselves may or may not involve you. But I did see a surprise. With the Knight of Wands, I think this is what somebody really does want you to be theirs and for you, for them, you know, for you to be theirs and them to be yours. Which, that's it. See what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you. And that is what I see coming in this week and in the near future for all y'all. Um... Yeah, it's more a timeline reading here for us. Current vibe in your connections. Check back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for your view. I'll see you guys in the next tarot reading.